Welcome to another video about uh, views in GBSIG. Now we'll see, we'll speak about how to define vector layers legend. We will use symbols to define legends and why symbols? Because they help users to read easily a map and distinguish one element from another. And uh, what, how should be a symbol? A symbol must represent as much as possible the corresponding layer. Conventional legends can be applied by GBC plugins. So what are the, the layer attributes? How can I see them and then establish which legend and which symbology to apply? Uh, I can uh, click with the right click of the mouse on the layer attribute table or as well from the menu layer show attribute table and here I have all my information so I can see which are the information stored in the corresponding layer and use them to establish a legend and a symbology. I can as well, if I don't want to open the table, just see which is the layer I want to analyze and then all information by point or attribute editor, I click on the, on the count, in this case of Morocco, and I will have the information visualized immediately inside my view. So let's see how we can work with symbols. I always right click, properties, I check the, the tag symbols, and here I have all the list of the available uh, methods of symbology for the um, selected layer. The easiest one and the simplest is the unique symbol. I mean, all the layer, all the elements, the features will be um, visualized in the same way. I can uh, change the color, the fill color, the transparency, the border color, the transparency, the size, and the units of measure of the size. Well, much more used is this kind of classification, unique value. Let's say if I want to classify countries according to their name, I here I can select the, the name of the, of the country, the column containing the names of the countries, then I add all, then I apply or accept, let's say apply is to have a overview of the how the legend is applied, and then accept if I'm satisfied of the choice. Remember that I can save legend and load legend for, uh, for uh, from future use of the legend I have created. You see here, for example, I use unique values, country name, I have add all, then apply or accept. But I can as well change every single value. Here, let's see, I can double click on the symbol or a double click on the label so I can change both the color as well as as I want to be visualized. You see I can also change symbol or by double click as I told you or by the right click change symbol. Here I have all the symbology I've loaded with the plugins of GVSIG and I can modify as well as I want a single symbol or a single class symbol. In this case, for example, if I want to modify Brazil, I right click, change symbol, I put in yellow, I make OK, and it's fine. Remember as well that a wide list of different preloaded symbology is available as well for line and for points. So you can customize as well as you want your symbol list. And if you want, you can as well have in your own symbols, you click on new, then you can customize as you want. You can customize polygon, line, and points by adding images, uh, creating your own line symbology, or polygon, let's say, color inside other color. So there is a very huge possibility of customization of symbology. There is another way of symbols in the expression, that use the SQL syntax sounds different but difficult but it's not you click for example new filter expression I want to see pop country more than 500 million, 50 million so I will, I will put in evidence only the uh, countries that have population higher of this uh, um, value and I click other values on brown so let's say all the high density population will be in pink and the other one in brown. 
this is the result you see it's very easy so I can define more than and the default value and so you see this is my easy to see map if I did not click other value the map would be limited only to the pink values with the empty spaces out of them very often we can use bar or pie charts in this case it's a pie charts if I want to visualize information whose sum make 100% for example male and female population I just pie render add the values I want to be part of the pie then apply or accept and you see this is the result so it's very easy to check and to get information from the table we can use the graduated symbol for, for numeric field let's say I make population country how many intervals I want which is the size of the smallest point which is the size of the biggest point as I told you how many intervals then compute intervals and also in this case I can modify all these elements so I can if I double click here I can change the size of each uh, symbol and here I can modify by double click the interval putting a minimum value and a maximum value and as well I can modify the label to be see in the table of contents you see this is the result that we have uh, bigger point for high populated countries but you see as I told you before that you can highly customize all your legends I can use uh, intervals let's say for area of countries the same I define how many intervals I want which is the begin color and the end color of the color ramp then compute intervals and then I can apply and you see this is the result so in this case you have the area by different color from the red the smallest one until the blue the biggest one I can match the the two symbology I've seen just seen so I can make both intervals and graduated symbols in order to have two information in the same map so I click color field it means the one will act as intervals here population country that will act as graduate symbol then I define color ramp and symbol in the same way we have just seen and you see here we have the color ramp and the symbols for the two information for area and for country and then you have the result you see that in this uh, in this way you have both information in the same map you have the area and the population for sure you can customize as much as you want color and label in order to be very easily understandable from even not technical user so now we can load and classify vector layers now we can assign them a label to better understand who they are so next one will be label procedures thank you very much